क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज से इज दैट द बेस ऑफ एन आइसोसलिस ट्राइंगल इज फोर बाय थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स एन आइसोसलिस ट्राइंगल इज एनी ट्राइंगल इन विच टू साइड आर इक्वल सो द बेस इज बेसिकली द थर्ड साइड नाउ द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट से इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इज फोर एंड टू बाय फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ आइदर ऑफ द रिमेनिंग इक्वल साइड्स सो लेट्स ड्रॉ अ फिगर फॉर द गिवन इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज दैट will make it very simple to understand what we have to do so here's a here's an isosceles triangle abc that i have drawn in which ab and ac are the equal sides and bc this side here this is the base so we are told that the base has a length of 4 by 3 cm so let's write 4 by 3 cm here we also know that the perimeter is 4 and 2 by 15 cm so ab plus bc plus ac the sum of the three sides this is equal to 4 and 2 by 15 cm but the problem is we don't know ab and ac we don't know the lengths of the remaining two sides so what we can do is we can assume their lengths as x cm and then the other side will also be x cm so the first step will be to assume that the equal sides have length of x cm so let's write this assumption equal sides have a length of x cm now what we will do is we will write the perimeter in terms of x the perimeter of the triangle so the perimeter will be ab which is x plus bc which is 4 by 3 cm so 4 by 3 and ac the third side which is x again and these many cm so this is the perimeters perimeter and we can combine these two x terms to get 2x so 2x plus 4 by 3 cm this is the perimeter and now we also know that this perimeter must be equal to 4 and 2 by 15 cm that's what's given to us so from here we get an equation in x so 2x plus 4 by 3 this expression that we got this should be equal to 4 and 2 by 15 4 and 2 by 15. I can write 4 and 2 by 15 as 15 into 4, 60 plus 2, so 62, 62 by 15 centimeters. So 2x plus 4 by 3 should be equal to 62 by 15. All right, this is awesome. Now we have an equation in x. All we need to do is to solve it now and find the value of x. So let's take this plus 4 by 3 and transpose it to the right side. So we will get 2x is equal to 62 by 15 minus 4 by 3. So if we take the LCM, 15 in the denominator, we will get 62 minus 20. You can verify that we'll get 20. So 62 minus 20 is 42. So we will get 42 by 15. And now we have the equation 2x is equal to 42 by 15. So now we divide both sides by 2. so we will get x on the left side and on the right side we will get 42 by 15 divided by 2 or into half so let's simplify this so 42 by 2 is 21 and we see that 21 and 15 also have a common factor of 3 so let's uh, divide both of them by 3 so we get 7 in the numerator and 5 in the denominator so what we get is x is equal to 7 by 5 and this means that the length of either equal side is 7 by 5 cm and 7 by 5 cm so this is the answer to question number 3 so the answer to question 3 is that the length of either equal side is 7 by 5 cm if you want you can write this in mixed fraction form as 1 and 2 by 5 cm and this completes question number 3 To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.